Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw a silver pendant. I'm taking this technique from my brand new book The Basics of Drawing, The Ultimate Guide for Beginners. From chapter 10, which shows how to draw different textures, such as glass, a rough rock, shiny metals, and wood. Our pendant will have a shiny metal and a little crystal. We will draw with a 203 mechanical pencil, starting with a 0.5mm HB lead which is of a medium hardness. Of course, you can also make it with pencils of different gradations. We begin by sketching the outline of a heart lightly, which will not be symmetric. One side will be smaller and the other one a lot larger to give it some movement. And I think it will be more aesthetic in this way. We draw the thickness of it. You can make it real thin or wide, however you want it. And with the kneaded eraser, we clean up the line. It is very important for the technique that I will use that we do not touch the paper. That is why I have a clean sheet of paper right under my hand. And also that is why after erasing with the pen eraser, I use a brush to dust it, so as to not leave oils with my finger. Now let's give a tone to the surface with graphite powder and a chamois, that is a soft leather. First we test it on a scrap paper and then we use it. We go over the whole piece of paper with this. So we give a light tone to everything. We apply it in different directions to even it out a little bit. When you do this, if you touch the paper and left some grease, the smudge of your finger will show. Fingerprints may be great for a detective, but not for a drawing. So let's keep it clean. Ok, good. Now, with our trusty pencil, let's go over the lines. Let's try to keep them smooth. Do not hold the pencil too tight for this. And with the kneaded eraser, we can pull lights. We erase some of the graphite powder that we applied. We reveal the white of the paper. The heart will be made out of silver, while the little circle in the middle will be of crystal and will project a light on the surface. I'll switch the lead in my mechanical pencil for one that is harder and smaller to draw the shading on the crystal. As I explained in the book, the light behaves in a different way when hitting transparent objects. If it is coming from the top left, that side of the sphere will be darker, except for a bright highlight. The light will go through the crystal and will illuminate the other side of it. Now we switch to a softer LED to draw the darks. With this softer lead, I drew the cast shadow as well as the dark reflections on the heart. On a solid object, of course, the lighter areas will be the ones that are facing the light. And as it is a shiny metal, we should have high contrast reflections. The list of all the materials that I am using, by the way, is in the description below the video, as well as the link to order the book. With the help of a stump, we can soften the edge of the cast shadows. And even though the heart is sitting on a table or something like that, I think we should draw a lace. Very good. If you made it all the way to this point, I would love to know it. In the comments, please write me the secret code, a shiny heart. And it's ready. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe to Fine Art Tips if you haven't done so already, order the book with the link below, <laughs> and I will see you with more creations on Tuesday.